Hi, my name is Jim Buckley and I'm a lecturer in the Computer Science and Information Systems Department at the University of Limerick. We've put together this series of YouTube clips to help you decide if a degree in computer science, computer systems, software engineering, software development, game development would be really for you. Um, specifically, we're going to focus on programming uh, because programming is a core part of these courses. And if it's a core part of these courses, employers who will hire you after you do these courses will expect that it's a core competency you have and so we'll be giving you programming to do for many years to come. So this just isn't a four-year choice, it's maybe a 20-year choice into your career. Um, but the problem is that many countries don't have a formal programming education at second level. So as a result, you really don't have exposure to programming, don't know what it's about, and you're making this decision in the dark. And it's an important decision because it'll affect you for the next 10, 15 years if you do one of these degree programs. So, essentially we don't want you making this decision in the dark, so we've put together this series of YouTube clips to help. We're going to use something called Robocode, and here it is. So you see, here we have a battleground with two, or th two tanks fighting it out among each other. Um, the idea is you put tanks into a battlefield and they shoot it out and the last tank standing is the winner. So, um, why is it interesting to us? Well, Robocode's interesting because firstly it's freely available. You can download and mess around with it freely. Uh, secondly, the tank's behaviour, th those tanks that you saw on the battlefield, they aren't at the end of someone's joystick, someone isn't controlling them. Those tanks have pre-programmed behaviour and that pre-programmed behaviour is in a programming language called Java, something that's predominantly used in the industry today. So tanks are programmed in a, in a commercial programming language. Finally, Robocode allows you to build your own tank and insert it in the battlefield and play other tanks. So you can build your own tank in Java and watch how it competes against the inbuilt tanks in Robocode or even against your friends' tanks in Robocode. So that's that's kind of interesting and that's what we're going to follow in this series of quick tutorials. Here's what we're going to do over all the sessions. In session one, we're going to show you how to download Robocode and observe a battle between tanks. In session two, we're going to build our own robot called a bot in RoboSpeak, Robocode speak. Um, and we're going to look at the code, the Java code that implements that behavior that the tank exhibits and we're going to then observe a battle and see if we can sort of map between the Java code and the behaviour it shows. So we're going to be understanding some Java code. In session three, we're going to make some small changes to our bot. We're going to change the colour, for example. We're going to change the intensity it fires bullets at. Um, so you'll be adapting or, yeah, writing some Java code. In session four then, I'm going to specify a behaviour to you. I'm going to ask you to try and make the change in the Java code yourself. And that is what programming essentially is. Someone says to you, I want the computer to achieve this behavior. And it's up to, your, it's up to you then to translate that behavior into Java code where the, the computer exhibits that behavior. So if you enjoy tutorial four or session four, you really, the, the implication is that you'll probably like programming. If you like programming so much that you want to go on, I've put on an extra session, which is basically how to build on what I've shown you here to create even better tanks. You can hack some of the code that's already in Robocode to create a better tank, for example, or you, there are online resources that I'm going to show you as well. Finally, I'd just like to say that there's some documentation in support of these tutorials available at the web link mentioned in the description. See you in session one.